Well hello everyone, I am recording on this device. My boyfriend has let me borrow this, it's- I don't even know what it is. I'll put the name up on screen once I actually know what this is, but it's like this camera that he's let me borrow and I'm just about to take Ozzy on a walk and I'm just gonna use this to film to just kind of play around with it. Do you wanna go walkies? drop your toy in that. You stupid. What? I've walked past here so many times and never realised that there's a willow tree here. First of all, before I start talking about these books, please don't judge my voice. I do have a little bit of a lisp at the minute. I'm starting my aligner journey. I've got liners in to basically straighten up my teeth, but today is the first day I'm wearing them. And as I'm talking, I do have like a little bit of a lisp and my voice might sound slightly different. I'm six months into my journey through 2023 when it comes to reading. Last year, I decided to get back into reading after not reading for a few years. And last year I read a few books and really enjoyed it. So this year I wanted to push myself and try and read more. But anyway, we're gonna get started with this year's book so far. The first book I read this year was Lord of the Flies, which if you don't know, it's a book about a bunch of schoolboys crashing onto an island and they have to figure out how to survive and try and get off this island. It's a very, very famous book. So if you haven't heard of it, I'm surprised and you should definitely give this a read. My experience reading the book was probably slightly different because of this book being so popular, I knew what would happen. I had a few spoilers because obviously this book's been around for a long time and through TV, media and all that. I had some parts which were kind of spoiled a little bit. So I would recommend this book to everyone. It's just one of those classics that everyone has to read. However, I wouldn't recommend to newer readers as there are parts in this which are quite descriptive and you do get a little bit confused or lost in parts, but just generally you have to read this at some point in your life. It's just one of those classic books that you need to just tick off the list, you know? My overall rating of this book was 6 out of 10. It probably would have been higher if I was going into this book blind. So me personally, 6 out of 10, but I do recommend you read this at some point in your life. The next book I read is The Midnight Library. I don't currently have it on me because I've let my mum borrow it. This book is about the main character Nora who takes her own life wakes up in a library where she opens books into lives she could have lived if she made different decisions. And I thoroughly enjoyed this book. We get to see this character explore all the possibilities she could have had in her life. The ending is just perfect to the whole book. It is a really, really uplifting book that I 100% recommend to everyone. It's an easy book to read. The chapters aren't too long. You can literally read like five chapters in half an hour. My overall rating was 8.5. I did want to give it a nine, but but as I haven't really read many other books, I didn't want to give it too high of a rating in case I found other books which I enjoyed more. But it was a really, really good book that I do 100% recommend it to everyone. The next book I read was The Unexpected Truth About Animals. So this is the first ever non-fiction book I've ever read, which was a little bit daunting because the reason why I don't like reading non-fiction books is because I'm worried that I'll get bored. I'm just not interested. <laughs> I wanna disappear into another land when I read something. But this book thoroughly 
surprised me. Going in, I love animals. I want a career working with animals. And so I just saw it and picked it up and I was just curious. The book explores different animals and the different beliefs and myths we used to believe about them. And the author, Lucy Cook, she does a brilliant job of being informative, but also like slightly humorous. Really interesting, but not in a boring way. Like you don't feel like you're reading some sort of book they gave you for your GCSEs or something. Like this is actually fun to read. I would recommend this to any animal lover or someone who's a bit more curious about the weird side of animals. It will definitely leave you with a different impression of certain animals. Yes it is a bit big and it looks really daunting but it is just really fun to read. You're not gonna get bored of it at all. So the overall rating for this book was 8 out of 10 which I wasn't expecting for a non-fiction book. The fourth book of the year was this book, The Man with the Compound Eyes. I picked up this book because I was, I really loved the cover of this book and also it sounded really intriguing on the back on the blurb but what it says on the blurb doesn't actually happen until the last quarter of the book which was a little bit disappointing because all of the chapters leading up to two main characters meeting up there were parts which were a bit unnecessary they didn't really need to be added in making some parts of it a little bit complex like I was confused a lot of the time I, I wasn't really excited to read this book it just wasn't really giving me enough to want to finish it and want to read it. It's basically about a boy from this island where their tradition is every second son has to be sent away to the ocean. The other main character is a woman who's lost her family and isn't really sure what else to do in life and it's them crossing paths and almost giving each other life again which is actually really sweet but it just again it doesn't happen until the last quarter of the book and there's so many chapters beforehand where nothing really important happens which is a shame so overall I rated this book 4 out of 10 which I know is harsh but just not a book for me I, I just personally wouldn't recommend this as it's just uh, it just wasn't giving enough this was the fifth book of the year my second non-fiction book I sort of regret buying this book. It's 50 psychology ideas you really need to know and I saw it because it was really it was written in like bite-sized pieces and I thought oh that's gonna be really interesting but I found out within this book it doesn't really fully explain the topics and I was reading certain chapters and still coming out of it not really understanding it and I feel like you could get better answers on Google. The topics explored in this were very vague which I guess it was supposed to be it's supposed to be bite-sized pieces but eventually wasn't really enjoyable to read. Also it's not one of those books that you can read continuously it's more of a dip your toes in sort of read like a coffee table book as obviously reading so much information in one sitting was just too much for my head so overall I rated this book a 2 out of 10 great coffee table book or a book to have while you're waiting for the dentist I felt you could definitely find better psychology books out there. The next book of the year was Lonely Castle in the Mirror. I picked up this book because I read the blurb of it and it sounded quite similar to this series that I watched on Netflix called Alice in Borderland. This book sounded like that. It's basically about this girl who finds the mirror in her room shining one day and she steps through and discovers she's in a castle where she's greeted by the hostess who is a young girl wearing a wolf mask and she tells them that they have a couple of months to find this key where they can unlock a wish and they can make whatever wish they want but also the story explores like anxiety especially anxiety during school which is another reason why I picked this book up as someone who suffers with anxiety it's quite a sweet book and quite relatable I would definitely recommend this to people that are currently in school or college or something like that and are suffering with anxiety it probably is for a, a more younger audience I would say like teenagers would probably love this book. I still enjoyed this as a young woman. It was still a very sweet book. So overall I rated this a 7 out of 10 because the story kind of continues in a really good way. However when I was reading the blurb I did think it was going to be more of like a mystery sort of book but it ended up being more about the characters and how they were all similar but different at the same time. But it was still it was still a sweet book. So yeah 7 out of 10. So this was the last book of my sixth month journey so far into 2023. This is 30 Second Astronomy. It's similar to the psychology book in the fact that it's sort of written in 
bite-sized pieces so I wouldn't recommend this to read but definitely a good coffee table book or a book to have in your bathroom to dip into rather than going on your phone and also aesthetically it's quite satisfying it's all little sections and it's cute the layout of it is cute so overall I rated this a 3 out of 10 quite low again but the information in it obviously was um, a little bit vague you could probably find better answers on Google but as far as like a coffee table book goes it's a good book but I'm rating these books on how enjoyable they were to read. So these were my books of 2023 so far, so six months in. But overall, out of all the books that I've read so far, the top two books that I recommend is The Midnight Library and The Unexpected Truth About Animals. Both those books I really thoroughly enjoyed. Um, for different reasons, I recommend you read them because they are really good books. And if you're not someone who reads books try when you find a book that you actually enjoy it's such a good experience because it's so much better to spend your time reading a book than scrolling on your phone start reading books if you're not already and if you are reading books please read those books that i recommend they are really great let me know of some book recommendations you guys have is there a book that you've read that you absolutely loved and want me to read i'm always looking for my next book in the comments below leave recommendations because i would always appreciate them so yeah, 